everybody pretty and flawed here <sighs> do you see that face that i just made i went in dollar tree and this time i officially have lost my mind <laughs> i have so much stuff oh my god if you can see my front seat right now you'll be like girl it looks like a I, it look, I look like a hoarder, like a Dollar Tree hoarder. So with that being said, let me show you guys all of this stuff that I picked up. Um, if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love for you to stick around. Um, for everybody else, thank you guys for all of your support. I appreciate you. And um, yeah, I don't even know where to start. Um, since these are sitting, no, because then everything will fall. <laughs> okay, so let's start with this. So I found two of these little boxes and I am actually sitting by Pooh Bear's school. Um, I'm waiting for him to get out uh, so I can just show you guys this, get him and then go home. So the first thing was this Memoji buttons. And I did grab this not only for my daughter, but for myself. I thought this was so cute. Um, you can make your own little buttons and you basically can color now i don't know if right here i don't know if you're coloring your own pictures and then you're able to stick them inside the buttons and then you know decorate your backpack your jacket or whatever with your own little um buttons but i thought this was so cute because i was thinking about putting some of my favorite like stickers in there or washi tape or something i'm not too sure but i did grab that there was another one right here and it's Momoji jewelry, and it's pretty much the same thing. But I, it looks to me like those shrinky, those, what were they called? Shrinky dinks or something like that. Like the little thing that you would color and then pop in the oven or something, and then it would come out smaller, and then you can, you know, use them. But basically, you can just use these to make little jewelry pieces or whatever. And for a dollar, I figured, why not? I did get a couple books. I'm just trying to pull what's on top. I picked this one up for my son. My One of my sons, oh my goodness, I am trying so hard to convince him to go to cooking school. My father was a professional chef um, or a professional, I wouldn't say chef. He was a professional cook in the military. Uh, and my son can cook so good, you guys. Oh my God. Like, And I'm not just saying that because he's my son. He can cook so good. I love when he makes meatloaf. Oh my God, don't get me started when he makes ribs and all of that. So when I saw this, it says man up your meals. And he usually just does it by, you know, his own tasting. He doesn't go off recipes or nothing like when he makes his own barbecue sauce. Oh my goodness. So when I looked at this, I thought <clears throat> spaghetti and meatballs, you know, like manly, manly meals. I guess that's what these would be. Fettuccine Alfredo. He loves that type of stuff. So I got this book for him, for him to kind of, you know, go through it it says recipes for real men <laughs> i thought this was cool and it does say it was 25 percent off the list price was 9.99 then it was dropped down to 7.49 and got it in dollar tree for a dollar so that's good i also picked up this one it says cute emergency and i just thought this was so cute like when you when you're having like a bad day or something and you want to see some cute pictures uh they prefer if you called it husky back ride instead of a piggyback ride super duper cute pictures and stuff just to kind of make you look at it and be like oh make you feel a little better so um <laughs> the, it's just so many cute pictures in here and little sayings next to it to you know make you smile or whatever it doesn't have a price on that one and then the last is this the last book the last book i picked up was i don't know hostess twinkies cupcake cookbook <laughs> and it gives you like all of these different things that you can do with just a twinkie um twinkie strawberry shortcake pie uh pineapple what did that say pineapple upside down cake twinkies uh twinkies and strawberries and more did i need this not really oh look at that it even has a twinkie sandwich on the back and it has bacon in it and everything so this will be interesting to mess around with so yeah i got this one for me
I'll jump into the signs that I picked up. This one, I've seen somebody, I can't remember who I watched haul this. Um, but I was just kind of scrolling through Dollar Tree hauls and watching a few people. And I remember seeing somebody show this, but I can't remember her name. I do apologize. Um, but this one was cute and I like the way it looks like wood and it just says you are my sunshine and I thought this would be really really cute to put somewhere let me stick that up there and then family is life's greatest gift I thought this was also really cute and I like the little pattern on it um so I picked that up it does have the little string to hang them so you can hang that up like that then another sign that I picked up was this one that says love and I really like this piece right here on the heart and this was just you know for valentine's day and it has a little string to hang that up as well i grabbed this because i do use my reusable bags when i go to the grocery store and every time i take one of these out like one of the cute little little ones everybody's always like oh it's so cute <laughs> so it's like a little statement piece in the grocery store so i picked up this one just because it was super cute and i really like this pattern on the side super adorable and it's even at the bottom so i had to get that um let's see what's next because i don't want stuff to start falling over there is two of these i don't know where the other one is however it's in here and it's just two mason jars and i picked up these because i plan on doing something for um valentine's day with those so i did grab that i'm just randomly picking up stuff now uh, my daughter likes these uh rice crunchy crunchy rice rolls with a few of them in here and i i've gotten these in the past but she was requesting some so i did go ahead and pick her up those what else do i have here okay here's this zootopia <clears throat> it says suspect search game find the matching evidence and I read a little bit of it, but for a dollar and for it to be something that me and the kids can play with. And it looks like even though it says seven plus, I'm thinking if I, you know, take my time and show Pooh Bear, he probably will be able to play this too because he's super smart and he loves little games or whatever. And we like the movie Zootopia. So um, for a matching game, I figured this was super cute. And it says suspect search solve the case. So it kind of reminded me of like a clue, like the game Clue but on a smaller like kid scale so i grabbed this two kitchen items i picked up was this right here and it's a cupcake and batter filler and um spreader and the reason why i felt when i seen this i was like oh my goodness i need that if you guys recently watched my 99 cent store haul i did pick up the silicone um cupcake pans and my problem most of the time with filling cupcakes is I sometimes put too much in there. So I'm thinking with this, it's the size of a cupcake. So when I fill this up, I can just use the pourer to pour it into my other ones and I'll have the perfect amount of um, cupcake batter inside of my thing and then to the spreader to, to scrape off the top. So I saw that and I thought this was cool. And they have these type of things like in Michaels. And of course, it's not a dollar. So I had to get that. This was the only one I seen. And I usually find cooking things in Dollar Tree or like little uh, the Betty Crocker type stuff. And I get it. And when I seen this, I was like, I've never seen that. And I really like it. It's like a, oh, I thought it was broke, but it's not. It's like a silicone type of a spoon. And I like that. I don't know why I like it. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it seems like it will be easy to get into like maybe jars that a regular spoon can't get into. Like maybe you can like, you know, I don't know, but it's flexible and it's silicone and it's a spoon. So I, <laughs> I grabbed it. I picked up another pair of socks and these are just super cute with the black and the gray and they say love on the front. And of course I had to make sure it was my size. So I did get those. Also, in my other haul, I showed um, my 99 cent store haul. I had bought the giant gumball machine. Well, I needed some bubble gum. So I picked up, actually, I picked up four packs of these, but I think the other two are on the floor. So I got those. 
there's some stuff in this cup i'm telling you guys my front seat is loaded with stuff <laughs> I, I got this cup no explanation needed it says that death before decaf did i need it no did i buy it yes <laughs> uh then they had these super cute little bracelets and i thought they was cute i like the way they sound like yeah so i just picked these up to wear around valentine's day and they're i picked up to the the red and the pink and they just have like these little bubble hearts on them or whatever so i just grabbed those two as well here's two more bracelets i had seen uh a few people haul the glass beaded bracelets and i was able to find the black ones and i do have some more somewhere in here but i'll get to those so these are really pretty cute little beaded bracelets that i picked up um oh here's the other ones right here i picked up three more of them and these ones are the really pretty like crystal crystal clear ones so pretty i think these are really pretty on the arm or you can break these down and use the beads for something else like if you're into jewelry making you can make your own jewelry or whatever and i could actually break these down and the black ones and do something make my own bracelet but i might just keep them like this but i thought these were really pretty in honor of valentine's day i did pick up two packs of the red hershey kisses and then i picked up two packs of the pink and i will be using these in a project so i needed those and i wanted them in red and pink I'm trying to sit all this stuff back here then i saw this i don't know i don't think i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna give this to my mom because i think she'll use it for something it's just a really cute little glass jar um and it is like the eiffel tower and it comes the little top part comes out and i don't want to pull it out right now but i'm not sure what my mama put put in this but i know she'll like this so i just went ahead and picked this up for her so then the next items that i picked up were i picked up five of them um because these are going to go fast let me put these back here but they're gonna go fast i already know that so it's just um you can see all my stuff in my car but it's just uh some mirrors that look like this and just the size of them they're nice you can see that size of it they're really nice they come with a hook in the back if you want to actually hang them up i have something in mind that i want to do with these but i'm not too sure when i'm going to get around to doing it but i did pick up five of these mirrors because i thought this was a really good deal uh and if i whenever and when i do something with them i will make sure to show you guys they had a few more scunchy items and you guys know i picked up so many headbands the last time but this one i couldn't pass uh and it is mesh and it just looks like this and i thought it was different and cute and this pink part is kind of like see-through and so yeah i just picked this up to add to my collection i saw these and i fell in love with them i know dollar tree had a few of these like stone setting things uh stepping stones or whatever you want to call them in the past but i think they looked a little different than these you guys know when i seen these i fell in love with the gold on them look at how they sparkle on the inside of each ray like half is the sun and then this side is the moon and they're separated and these are just beautiful i think these are so beautiful and then this one is just the sun is bigger over here and then you have the moon on the side and i just think these will be really really pretty uh in a garden in a garden or even if it's a big garden or a small garden just to set these out really really pretty and um i don't know i was thinking of something else to do with them but i'm not too sure yet but however i'm just loving the way that these look i picked up four of these two of each so i got the pink and the purple i mean pink and purple pink and red and these i went to the store i think last week and they had them and i was telling myself okay i'll get them next time i go i went back the next day and they were gone so when i seen these i said let me get them and i do have something in mind that i want to do with these so uh these are really nice and i've seen these something like this in michael's and they were like five dollars each so for a dollar uh this is definitely a good deal to pick those up i 
some of the food items that I grab before I get into the crafting stuff like the stickers and stuff in my last video I showed these but I didn't buy them the ones that I showed last time was like just plain and I don't like really like plain chips like that so this time uh, these were the smoky barbecue and I've never had these and they say thins on them so I want to try these out so I picked those up and my favorite type of a chip is the sea salt and vinegar so I did get these as well when do these expire <clears throat> let's see oh they expire in February of this year so the sea salt and vinegar and the barbecue ones I got then I grabbed this popcorn because I love popcorn and I, I know this brand is really good so aged white cheddar popcorn and this is a nice 5.75 ounce bag so definitely wanted to get that then I also picked up two of these and these are the popcorn Indiana toasted coconut drizzle corn so I picked up two bags of these and I'm not big on coconut but my son is so I got these for him to have and then we're going to move into these two little baskets and then we will be done i did pick up two of the purple baskets i talked about them before i wasn't going to get anything purple <laughs> i mean i wanted to get them but then i was trying to tell myself not to so this time around i did get two of these purple bins and it is filled with like stickers and stuff like that that i am going to share with you real quick um these are super cute and they're shaker card i mean shaker cards shaker stickers and they have they're like little bubble stickers and they have the little sequins inside that shake so they look like that and then on this side you got those there's um 12 of them in there i saw the metal i got the metal stickers the last time and the hearts that i actually have at home look different than this so i don't know if they're bringing out some newer ones or if i just missed this pack so I did get those and I really like these because they look like, you know, like the metal type of look. And I'll use these on some Valentine, Valentine's Day cards. Then I got these puffy glitter stickers and um, there's 15 of them in here. Adorable. Super cute. I like this one right here and the little cactus up here at the top. Please excuse my nails, you guys. And then, um, so I got two of those. I picked up two of those. There's some more of those, but I'll get to those. Then I got these googly eyes. But instead of them having the black eyes, the eyes will be little red hearts. And they shake, so those are cute. This pack of felt stickers with the little gem on the heart. These will be cute to use on a project. I forgot I did get another book. This one is called Shake, Jiggle, and Shoot. And it's just like a little cookbook for um, Jello, things to do with Jello, and what else was in here? Like lemon sorbet, lemon sherbet. It says sorbet and then sherbet next to it. Um, pink pie sherbet. So I picked this up. Um, it says liquid confections, uh, sweet tooth satisfaction in a glass. So I grabbed that some more stickers these these are super cute i really like this right here with the little apple so i got those and they did have a lot of the stickers that they had in the past like from last year and stuff but i didn't get any of those because i still have some of those in my stash then these these are more like um i want to say like cardboard or like paper so those trying to hurry up because my battery is acting crazy some emojis and i love these envelopes right here i want to stick her crazy you guys these and these are puffy and a little bit puffy not too much but they have the sparkle like the glitter i thought those were cute these are adorable and this one Look at that strawberry. Love it. Then I got some more of the like paper ones or cardboard ones. I like this little banner at the top. Oh, my nails look jacked up, you guys. And then this one. I 
Here's another pack. And then I also picked up two packs of the LED string lights. And I seen the string lights at uh, Target Dollar Spot, but they weren't a dollar. They were a little different than this, but however, I felt like these will work for a project that I'm thinking about doing as well. So I did pick up two of those. I got this uh, shampoo scrubber like brush. Basically, when you're shampooing your hair and you, you know, to stimulate your scalp. So I did pick that up. Um, I also grabbed these cute little loot bags that I'll be filling for Pooh Bear's class around Valentine's Day. Give him a couple little treats in these little bags so he can pass them out to his friends. Uh, then I got this ribbon. They had some more ribbon. Really, really cute ribbon. Different ones than what I saw in the past. And I did take pictures, so stay tuned to the end because I always put pictures up. And the last couple things were some different... I've had this one before. I needed some more stars. I use this one a lot when I send out mail. And I'd seen some other owls that I picked up, but I don't remember picking up this one with the background being black. See how that background is back black and the colors look a little neonish? So I, I don't think I have this one in my stash, so I grabbed that. And I definitely don't have this one, and it's just black and yellow polka dots. Nothing spectacular, but I know I don't have it, so I picked it up anyways. And my favorite baskets. Oh, there's one more item. I was looking at these and I, I grabbed these because I was thinking, even though I think they're for the kitchen, you see how they have this um, netting on the side and it's supposed to be like microfiber scrubbers. I was wondering as I was standing there, I wonder how this will work if when I'm using like my facial like scrubber like you know to wash my face i felt it on my skin and i'm wondering if this could be like an exfoliating type of a towel when you're washing your face so i'm gonna give this a try i'm hoping that it's not too harsh on my skin um and um whatever i'll let you guys know if i like it or not uh eventually because yeah they the built-in scrubber right here and they don't feel rough at all so i was just thinking when i seen these i would give those a try to see how i like it so let me look around that's it <laughs> you guys i was too much stuff entirely too much stuff i must have lost my mind while i was walking through there but um i wanted to come share with you guys like i said stay tuned for pictures that will come up shortly and thank you all for watching i'm getting ready to go in here and get pooh bear and i will talk to you guys later <laughs> Bye.